What is up guys? Slim Rick here. And today we're going to be talking about how to deal with loss. Now, loss is a thing that many people go through throughout a lifetime. We lose many things during our lives. But some of the most important things you can lose are people. Now, Slim Rick himself has lost people before, and I will say, it hurts. But, there's always ways to get through that, and one of the best ways to get through that is sugar, love, and a couple other secret ones I'll talk about later. Now, sugar. Uh-huh. <laughs> This is a good way, let's say Pepsi, it's a good example, or, I don't know. Even maybe some like, Chips Ahoy, are good ways to deal with loss. Now, this is about eating away your sadness. Now, this won't heal you or anything, but it helps you deal with it. I'm not trying to fix you here. I'm just trying to show you about ways that you can deal with loss. And one of those many, many popular ways is just eating away your sadness. It works very well. It's a tried and true method done for generations. Unless you didn't have food. But if you do, it works. Next up is love. Now... This does work if you have family members that love you. If you don't, well, you're shit out of luck then. Sorry, guys. You can't use this method. Unlike you guys, though, people love me. So, I will use this method to talk to my loved ones. Next up, <clears throat> addiction. Now, addiction is a great way to deal with loss. Let me tell you, drugs, amazing. Honestly, it will make you forget about everything. You should use drugs to get rid of loss, or to deal with it, not get rid of. You can never get rid of loss. One of my addictions is woodworking, all right? Long time ago, about three weeks, I made a ship out of wood. I painted it crying about my loss. Take a deep breath. I had a friend named Carrie, alright? Very close to my heart. He was about this small. He was a cricket. Now, I was going to use him to feed my snake, right? But, um, I don't know, something just clicked when I looked into his eyes and Ever since then, I decided that me and Carrie are going to be great friends. So I've had that guy for, what is it, three weeks now? It was lost him yesterday, and I, I really miss Carrie. Carrie has been such a huge part of my life. Like I said, three weeks, dude. Three weeks, we were the best friends ever. I took him everywhere I went. To school, to work. Even to my son's baseball game. I loved Carrie. Like I said, sugar is a great way to deal with loss. Don't even feel sad anymore about Carrie. That's okay. Like I said, there's many ways to deal with loss. Each person has their own different way. I prefer addiction. That's one of the best ways you can deal with loss. But... Not everyone can be addicted. And that's okay. Not everyone can find the addiction to have. And that's why... That's why we get to the final method. Okay? This is where you seek help. Alright? You do many things this way to get attention. Doesn't matter what. Alright? All you gotta do is get attention of other people 
just so you can feel like people care about you. Because chances are people don't. So you want people to care about you by lashing out, all right? It's a great way to deal with that. If none of the other methods work, lashing out, attack out people maybe, not too hard, just a little light, a light assault would do it. It's a crime, but it could be worth it in the long run. Depending on your situation you're in, just keep in mind, it's a bad way to deal with loss. I would try all the other methods first that I have explained inside this video, but if that's not an option, you can just go lash out, possibly assault. I'm not condoning assault. What I'm saying is it works for dealing with loss. Now let's talk about loss of not of a person. Let's say you got robbed. Hmm. Now the law would want you to go to the police station, right? Talk to them. Write out a little form of sorts. Well, here I say, you become your own private investigator. Now how this method works is you will search this person, learn everything about this person's life, their patterns. You basically will become their stalker. And with this method, you will find out what they stole from you and you'll get your things back and then you can use that against them. Now you know their life. Now you can ruin it. Now you can make them feel the pain for what they've caused you. That pay that they stole three weeks ago, they're gonna feel that for the rest of their lives. All right? That's a very important part of your life. And when, they, when that happens to you, man, just think about it. Just think about it. That's a great way to deal with something that's been stolen from you. Now let's say you did something wrong and you lost something. Well, that's the case. You gotta punish yourself for that, homie. Maybe cut off a couple fingers. You know, your pinkies aren't that important. I don't know. Something. Maybe starve yourself for a couple weeks. Four at most. But yeah. That's how you deal with loss, alright? This has been your old pal, Slim Rick. Signing off to another video. I will see you guys later.